All right, everybody. I think I'm on here. Let me move that out of the way. Put a real knife here. Oh. No? I'm just kidding. Everybody, I brought my wife with me. She's going to help me answer some questions. And then I'm going to let her go watch her shows. But I told her she had to be here for just a little bit of it since, since she's a big part of letting me keep doing this. Hi, everybody. All right, so I'm going to go through the list here. Say hello, Sean, Mike, Vin, Wandering Bear, Glock, Tojo, welcome. Eugene, welcome. Jet Fuel, what's up? Eddie, welcome. Mike Vint. Hey, I saw that thing on Instagram, Eddie, of your wife walking next to the alligators. No. All right, Mythgard, Dave Cooper, Wandering Bear, Rick, Doc, hey. And Eddie says, greetings, Mrs. Slash. Hey, Eddie. All right, so we're going to do a little Q&A for the 3,000 subs. And what do you think? The first five questions that are chosen, should they get Five, five giveaway for a, a, a Kubi Angry Kami Monkey Knife. That sounds lovely. All right, five. We'll do five. Let me get the paper out so I can write these down. I'm going to give everybody a few seconds here to get in. Do I have any energy drink left? Oh, let's do a prayer to the gods of energy drink. There's none. The gods hate me. <laughs> Throw that one away. <laughs> oh, I got some orange. I got some orange left. All right. That's going to make me a little burpy, so I'll have to cut the mic every once in a while. All right, hey, Randy. Jetfield says, hello, Mrs. Slash. Hey, Can you read cool. this? Let me turn this around. <clears throat> no, I can't. You still can't read it? All right, Rick says, hello, Mrs. Slash. Hey, Rick. Doc says, 5.5. 5. What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. 157 for Marshall and Wandering Bear, all right? R Rodney, do you understand the 157 thing? No. I, we had a guy that won Newbers twice in a row, and I think I gave the same number twice, two times in a row, on accident. So everybody bets 157 now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenton, welcome. <clears throat> the purple is pretty good. Yeah, the purple is good. It's my favorite color. Oh, you're the man, Ed. Thank you for showing up. Hey, Jay, welcome. And purple monsters sound like something from the 70s. Yeah, like somebody's football team. Wasn't that the... Oh, it was the purple people. Oh! Oh, hold on. While everybody shows up and I read things, I'm going to open something. Oh, I found something. Oh. oh. Thank you to you who sent this to me. This has been waiting on my desk for me. Fantastic. If I had the grip strength, I wouldn't need the whisk knife. All right, let's see. Who else is here? Rodney, Welcome. Make sure I don't miss anybody. Hey, John. Welcome. Big Red's here. Welcome. Let's see. Hey, Doug. Welcome. All right. I think that's it. I think I've said hello to everybody. Did I say hi to Tojo? Hey, Newcastle Ninja. Welcome, welcome. My arm's feeling a lot better. It hurts if I try to lift anything, but it doesn't hurt just nonstop like it did, so... I haven't done anything left-handed this weekend. I mean, just barely anything. Maybe right. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Andrew Dimko is a man who realizes menu is nice for real tasks. Because Spider Codella can't do it all. Toughness and folders is underappreciated. Oh yeah, if you listen to Andrew Dimko talk, he'll say, "Look, I." And on his last, if y'all watch his, his him and his brother's podcast or listen, it's pretty awesome. But he said. You know, I start with these knives, and I try to get them here, and then I try to, and I'll add something, and before you know it, I got some kind of beast. And he just, he builds them, like he said, to, for his use. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Rick showed up. Where's Rick? Did I miss Rick? Hey. No, oh, no, there's Rick. Different Rick. All right, I think that's it. What? Oops, what are you pointing? At? No, it's okay. The Minnesota Vikings from the seventy Super Bowl runs defense were known as the Purple People Eaters. There you go. Yeah, Eddie knows. But Eddie, Eddie knows this kind of stuff. All right. John says hello, Tammy. Hey. He knows your secret identity. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. It's a nervous thing. <laughs> we can show the other side if you want. <laughs> oh, it's upside down to them. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, there you go. All right, let's see here. Yep, no, woohoo. All right, so we're going to get here. We're going to start answering some questions. It's no longer secret. That is true, Rick. It has been revealed to the world. So, first five folks that get a question answered, I'm going to... Yeah, this is the Blade Show and Grave Knife there. Yes, they did so it for this, free. So, this says your secret identity on it. Yes, it does. <laughs> It's like Batman having a knife that says Bruce Wayne. All right. Yeah, that's true. The PayPal is in your name, so everybody already knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I forgot that. <laughs> that's true. All right. No secret identities anymore. Lots of beads on that grip. I, I love my bead lanyard. He made it for me. All right. What was the hardest part to get your channel up and going? Do you do this as your job now? The hardest part was just doing it. It was just getting it going, just sitting down and plopping down and doing it. And and then it, I just, I guess finding the audience is kind of difficult. Not like getting more subs as far as, I mean, that's part of it, but finding the audience in my brain of who I was talking to. And so if you hear me talking on a review, it, I'm talking to somebody across from me that's who i'm thinking like i'm looking somebody in the face and i'm talking about this knife that's why it may seem kind of impromptu or unscripted or just haphazard that i'm that's who i talk to is a friend sitting across the table from me so that's what that is the hardest part is just putting down the first one and just doing it do i do this is my job now it takes up a lot of my time but it's not my job the four dollars that YouTube used to pay me a month does the um, mama runs the money. <laughs> no. No. Well, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> Batman's knife says Clark Kent. <laughs> Batman's smart. All right, I'm gonna start telling me your other hobbies. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the list over here. Somebody, everybody's sending questions, so I'm gonna start choosing from the video, randomly choosing, and. She runs what she makes. That's what he said. He says you make the money, so she, you run it. Is that true? No. See? Eh, Marshall, sorry. You're wrong. It takes a lot of time to do a video. It does. For a 12-minute video, by the time I download it from the camera and edit it, you know, you're looking at least 30, 40 minutes just, just at that time and then uploading it at what nine. <clears throat> Don't lie. I'm talking to Harvey. I don't know who Harvey is. Oh, a giant bunny. Okay, thank you. They want to know how you're feeling. You feeling better? Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, you know, the weather changes back and forth here in Houston. Kind of get your sinuses working every now and then. All right. Here we go. All right, let's ask some questions. No. no. <laughs> I'll answer all the who runs the money questions later, but that that's a little bit different here. Who runs the money? <clears throat> I don't know. They they think that you're you're the money runner. All right. So here's. I don't worry my pretty little head about money. The first. All right. Here's the first. The first random choice is Mad Dog Forty Five, and he doesn't have a question. He just wanted to tell me. Should we give him since he didn't ask a question? Should we go ahead and give him a knife since he was the first chosen? It was the random selection. We have yeah. to go with the random. Selection. All right, Mad Dog, you didn't ask a question, but we'll give Mad Dog the chance. He participated. He did participate. All right, Mad Dog. I'm writing Mad Dog 45 down. He didn't have a question. This is starting off swimmingly. All right. Maybe he's too shy to ask a question. That's true. Let's see him catch up on the questions real quick. What's up, Big Ninja? Dimco runs the money. Yes, Dimco has a lot of my children's funds. Okay, here we go. One more. Let's pick another one here. This will be number two. All right. <laughs> Tip up silver. What is my all-time favorite knife? Oh, I'm supposed to let you read it. 
I'm sorry. Okay. You can read the next one. My all-time favorite knife is... Why don't you get it out of the drawer? I don't know if it's in the drawer. I don't know... The where, drawer wonders? Where it's at. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. All right, this is... As of right now, if I had to choose my all-time favorite knife, who wants to guess what the all-time favorite knife is? Dun, 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 dun. Dun. This is my all-time favorite knife, my AD12 from Andrew Demko. The 12 Max. It shall not be named. All right, so that's my all-time favorite knives. All right, let's keep going. The Buck 110. <laughs> yeah, that's the... I didn't say the all-time greatest knife. I said the all-time favorite knife. Oh, pink Formax. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right, let's see here. Let me see. Which pink one do you have? This 8015. My first knife, I'll answer that for Jeffrey. It was a Buck 112 that my dad got me about 40 years ago. <coughs> no, it was about 38 years ago, 39 years ago. And I still have it, so... All right, I'm going to go back to the giveaway Q&A. Hold on one second. How many knives do I think I have in total? Oh, I'll answer that in a little bit. Let's see, number three here. Should I plug my ears? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marshall, you're number three. If there... Oh, go ahead. If there were no Dimco, who would you be... Who would be your favorite designer? Also, who was your favorite designing woman? And also, what's to do with Chad? All right, there's three there's three questions there. Two questions, yeah. All right, I'm, I don't know what the deal with Chad is. My favorite designing woman was Annie Potts, whatever character her was. And if there's no Dimco, my favorite designer, I don't know. I like um, I like Brian Ty a lot. DXP, no? no. Well, the guy from yeah, but he doesn't really make customs. No, that's true. But yeah, I like I like Robert Young Pelton's DPX knives, the stuff he designs over there. So. If I had to choose one, I may have to go with Brian Ty. I really, that might be my next outside. Leong Ma, shoot, that's a good call too. We met him. Yeah, we sure did. Good call, monkey. All right, here we go. Eddie's calling, calling, oh no, once again, Eddie calling, that's his wife. All right, let's see, the 112 is his mom's favorite. So you need some 80s metal in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, Greg Medford makes some really cool knives. I don't... I'd have to... I'd have to... Oh, man, that's tough. It's really tough. I'm just glad I latched on to Demco stuff early because I didn't have to search around, but yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. So, oh, we didn't write down our winner. Who was the second guy? Silver tip up? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm writing these down, folks. And let's see, Marshall. Okay, now, as far as winners, if you're not in here, this is the only place I'm announcing winners, so I'm not gonna announce the winners elsewhere. This is where this is was supposed to happen. Is that a meant for your pocket, happy to see me. Any brands you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Cold Steel stuff, the 8012s and stuff, and the, I mean, the 8015s and the 8010s come out. All right, so here's the next winner. Let's see here. Hey, wait. I think I just read something by this guy. He was the one who made the, Dim the Medford comment. Yeah. All right, Benjamin, it's your question. Do you have any other hobbies besides knives, such as cars or movies, RC, anything? Not really. I I like to go to the movies. I'm not a huge move, you know, cinemaphile or anything like that. But I like movies. I like to play guitar. I play guitar probably behind. As far as what do you think? That'd be my other hobby. Just yeah. my guitar. Yeah. I used to collect baseball cards. I kind of got out of that. But I would say my guitar. Just sit around plunking guitar. Is my other hobby. All right. That's a pretty good question. Let me write your name down, Benjamin. Since you're here, send me your your 
mailing address and I'll get your to be to you all right let's see oh you didn't win Jeffrey I'm sorry it had to be randomly chosen here did my question get asked dun, dun, dun. what is my most used or carried knife right now it's the I'll show you if I can see it here in the drawer if not, I'll just tell you here in two seconds. One. Oh, I found it on two. Right now I'm carrying this more than anything. I love that knife. So useful. So awesome. All right. So there's that. All right, this is the final winner here for number five on the Q&A winner board. And then we'll just start picking questions randomly. We don't have to write them down. All right, Lois. Is Lois in here? How many knives do you have that you have never used? I have a few special knives that I have only taken out of their protected cover just to show it off. And some friends say that I should use them. I just want to save them for my grandchildren and great-grandson. Is that silly to you? No, it is not silly to me. I have never used that sweet Damascus Demco that I have. I've never used that. There are a bunch of my knives that I've never used. Now, I use a bunch of them. But there are some that I'm not going to use. I have a 550, the ZT 550 that I won't use, a couple of the Demcos that I haven't used. Now, there are a bunch of Demcos I have used. I've carried both four Maxes. He wants to stay out. He wants to live. He wants to breathe the free air for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's silly at all, especially if you're looking at heirlooms for your grandkids. There's nothing wrong with that. So, all right. The frog market is awesome. I love the, and the whole thing is, I've bought some, bought in English. I've bought so many knives for the kitchen since I got the frog market that I, I forget about it. But it's an amazing, I love the frog market. I love, I just used it the other day. It was awesome. All right, I'm writing the names down here. All right, so that's different. That's it with the name, the name portion. So those are all the winners: Mad Dog Forty Five, Silver Tip Up, Marshall, Benjamin Poirier, and Lois White Cross. If you are in the audience, you are a winner. So there we go for that. All right, let me check up and see if I can catch up on some of this. El Chapo versus El Chede. Who gets the girl? El Chede. El Chede gets the girl. What knife would you buy your wife if you were trying to get her hooked? That one right there. That's the one I got her. That little 20 CV purple mini grip. I suppose the one that she and that she won't use and she comes and gets my stuff. I come and get this one. Yeah. Check out Mikey. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's fun being with crazy people who like knives. What's your career slash skills? Huh. Right now, I am a stay-at-home dad with, among other things. But right now, that's my main job. Josh lives for Striper. I have other skills, like Napoleon Dynamite has skills. But right now, it's just talking knives and taking care of kiddos. Let's see here. Ever try your hand at making any knives? No, but it's coming. I'm going to go to knife school probably this summer and try to learn. Yeah, Randy, that's right. I don't. There's a bunch of my knives I don't use. Probably a good third of them don't get used. And a lot of that's just because I don't use them. But and some of that is because I'm trying to save, save that freshness on them, I guess, what you call it. Hey, Wiggly Wolf, welcome. You missed some of the questions, but not all of them. I'm just trying to catch up on chat. Favorite... 80s hair metal bands, Guns N' Roses, Striper, Motley Crue, oh, let's see, Scorpions, oh, oh, Cinderella, Cinderella's like right below Guns N' Roses, I love Cinderella, Neil Diamond, yeah, the answer to Neil Diamond is yes, of course, alright, can you read that? No, that's the question. 
Oh, I'm just a bunch of questions. <clears throat> yeah, I got the Purvis. It's awesome. Hold on, let me show you. I thought I showed you guys that. No, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I got it. It's pretty awesome. What's the worst knife I've ever owned? That's a tough one. I mean, it's worst quality or worst disappointing knife. Yeah, man. I've had some disappointments lately, but I don't want to start getting into all that as far as calling people out. But yeah, there's... If you're looking at quality knives, it's, it's a cheap knife. If not, if you're looking at worst, it's just a knife that you have to keep trying to send back in and stuff like that. So maybe that. Hey, Rick. Welcome. I'm trying to catch up here. What are my top three movies? That's a tough one, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say Tombstone. The Natural. And Love Actually. Not Love Actually. Why would you say? I don't even like that movie. That's not a manly movie. We watch it every Christmas. That's not true. This is about knives and manliness oh. and testosterone and anger. No, I do like Love Actually. It's one of my favorites. That's the top ten, but top three. Tombstone, The Natural, and there's got to be another one there. I just don't know the third one. Maybe, uh, let's see. I, I like The Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood. That's a good one. So depressing. Yeah, yeah, it is really depressing. All right. Ozzy. I love Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy's awesome. Black Sabbath. Does your mom say go outside to annoy me? Just kidding. I, I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, the Mantis. That's what, Doc, right there. That might be it. The worst knife for me. I used to have it in this drawer back here. Let's see if I can take it out. Here it is. Thanks, Doc. This. You know why this is the worst knife ever? Because I had such high hope for it. This knife I thought was going to be cool. It's all thick and like a little chunky tank. And then it had lock rock. Okay, listen. You can hear it. So I sent it in. The guy was real nice. Oh, we'll take care of it. Just send it in. Send it in. He couldn't. He said, well, I can't figure anything wrong with it. I said, it's, it makes a noise when you wiggle the blade. And he just sent it back to me about three weeks later in the same condition. So, yeah, that's that's my least favorite knife of all time. Just a big disappointment there. What is the top knife on my grill list right now? I don't know. I would like to get the Demkos to make me something cool, something special. I think something like that would be my top. But if I can't, if I take the Demkos out of the question, then one of those really nice Damascus Brian tirades. Or the TIE Fighter that's just all carbon fibered out with the Damascus blade. Or even the one with the skulls that are drilled out in the blade. That was pretty mm -hmm. awesome. You seen that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, what's your favorite hair metal band? Um, I don't know. Because my favorite band is Aerosmith. Her favorite band is Aerosmith. Okay. That's kind of hair metal-y. I mean... Not really, but they're kind of like classic rock. Yeah. That kind of squeaked through the hair metal days, would you say? Yeah, they were. They went over several decades. Yeah, that's true. All right. I love Bad Company. Yeah, Bad Company's awesome. I didn't really think of them as a hair metal band, though. I could be wrong. Le Led Zeppelin. Well, yeah, Led Zeppelin's awesome, but... Pulp Fiction is a good one. Oh, Pulp Fiction. That is a good one. Oh, that is a good one. What else is a good movie? I'll have to think about it. Yeah, the top... Man. I know it's in my head. I'd have to look at them. I like some of the older movies. I like The Searchers, or John Wayne. And I like all the nuanced conversation of movies like Casablanca that you didn't get when you were a kid. I love the movie Blow. That, I can't when that thing is on, I can't stop watching it. it I'll, I probably watched that movie ten times in pieces. That's a great movie. Reservoir Dogs. Dude, man, that's a dark movie. That's not bad though. All right, let's keep going here. I like Jackie Brown. 
not a huge Judas Priest fan. I like some of their stuff. I just never got into them. I think by the time I was getting into them, I was doing this. Up. Here's a quite important question, Mikey. Why don't you read this one here? John Claude Van Damme or Steven Seagal? John Claude Van Damme. He can do the splits. There you go. Do you hear it here? And Steven Seagal punched his wife. Oh, well, he's a jerk. All right, Van Damme. We don't like so the good, the bad, and the ugly. I was watching that the other day. That's a good one. I never saw Fear and Loathing. Dokken, Wasp, Def, Def Leppard is awesome. I never got into Dokken, but I, I recognize their awesomeness, especially the technical ability of their guitar player. What's his face? What is his Didn't name? Didn't you see them once with Patricia? Yeah. Yeah. I saw them one time. It was a collective of 80s bands. I went and saw Dokken, Cinderella. I think Poison was there. What's the guitar player's name? George Lynch. There you go. The Lynch Mob. You know, I like Gunsmoke. I never watched a whole lot of it, but I like Gunsmoke. And I liked, uh, this is a kid, Bonanza. Steven Seagal, yeah. He's just a terrible person, Norma. Just a blind, he's terrible. He's Russian Yeah, and, and he's tr Rush. Ooh, I used to like Rush. That's a long, long, terrible story of, of Rush. Rocky, great movie. Tremors, I have good memory about the movie Tremors, Beer Fest. <laughs> the Hunted, because one, yeah, that's true. That, That's where the tracker came from, right? I, I ever worn a mullet. Okay, here's the deal. Back in the late 80s, early 90s, I was a really strict church kid, so I didn't get long hair. Once I got out of high school, I kind of started, not rebelling, but, and I started like a mini mullet, and then it just kind of never grew on me because I have a big old head and with the mullet and all that hair it was kind of like if Poncharella had a mullet just big hair on top it wasn't looking good I don't remember that. and I don't remember it being called a mullet I remember going in for the haircut and I said hey I want it short on the sides and just I, I'm trying to grow it long in the back and she knew exactly what I was talking about because at that point mullets were awesome What you mean used to? I don't know what that means. What was he talking about? That's how you used to have a big old head? Yeah, I still have a big old head. <laughs> That's what you mean. Joe Satriani, he's awesome. You've seen him too, haven't you? No, I didn't see Satriani. I saw oh, Steve Vai. Oh, yeah. I thought it was with It was Satriani. right around the same time that G3 was out, but I didn't see him with him. The Dirty Dozen. I love that movie. That's a great one. Oh, about Rush. He, was, he wasn't talking about my big old head. He's talking about Rush. Oh. <clears throat> um, it's just a, a story about how it got blasted in my ear while I was trying to sleep for a long, long time. Lois just got here. It wasn't... Oh, Lois, hey, you're a winner. One of your questions was, was answered. So if you'll send me your email or your mailing address to jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com, you are one of the winners. What's you and your favorite, your wife's favorite blade shape? What's your favorite? Um, do you like, do you like the Warren Cliffy blade? Do you like more of a kind of a sheep's foot? You kind of like this one, so you might like a just a regular drop point kind of blade. Yeah, I guess it depends on what I'm doing with yeah. the knife. Yeah, she's not as far as me. I really like. This kind of like mini sheep's foot spear point thing, something like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, it was a me. I had a rat tail in middle school. The special doc says I had a rat tail in middle school. My cousin and I had a special four wheeler trail. The only people with rat tails were allowed to ride on. <laughs> That's funny. All right, McClintock. That's a good one. Just put John Wayne and I'll probably watch it. The Cowboys. That was a good one. Ruined Bruce Dern's career. Yeah. <laughs> I can find a hat for my pumpkin. All right. I'm going to pull another question off of the ones that people should send in. So here we go. Let's see. This isn't for a winner. This is just for a question here. 
Kaylin, how many knives of all types, excluding kitchen, do I own? How many knives does your wife own? How many knives do you have? I have one and a half. So I have this one that is my safe queen and this one that I steal to do jobs. All right, so she has one and a half knives. Non-kitchen non knives, I probably have, what, about 250? I have no idea. No idea. I don't keep track. So I'd say about 250 knives, Kaylin, if you're out there. You were trying Skid to... Rose, good. Sebastian Bach, maybe the greatest vocal list of all metal. What? You keep getting distracted, and so they ask you why you no longer like Rush, and it was because I, you were tortured in the Army with it. That's why I didn't want to get into that. Oh. I didn't want to tell them I was in the oh. Army. Oh. <laughs> and now you've let it out. Oh, okay. I don't want to answer that. You can even be dismissed, ma'am. <laughs> His roommate in the army played it incessantly, and so it made him hate it. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. I just got to the post, and I would be trying to sleep at night, and he was just blasting today's Tom Sawyer over and over again. And he would stay up all night, get up, you know, get two hours of sleep, and he'd go. And then it just ruined Rush for me. Ronnie James Dio is pretty awesome, too, Marshall. Yeah, he's up there. Yeah, if you came into my house right now and wanted to give 400 people knives, you could do it because of Piff and everything else. All right. Especially if they weren't necessarily wanting folders. You have a lot of fixed blades. Yeah. Yep, I was in the Army for a short amount of time. <laughs> Sean, you, did, you missed a couple questions, but not much. Was I your roommate? I don't know. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Maybe not. Buckethead. You know, Buckethead is technically awesome. I just don't really find a lot of emotionality in his music. We can't like him. Yeah, we can't like him because he played for Guns N' Roses for a while. Santana's awesome. Yeah. Did you see Dio in Manteca? No, when I was in Manteca, I was a super strict Baptist, and I wasn't allowed to listen to anything but gospel music. That's kind of what happened to me. I know a lot of you know the story, but I'll just go through it real quick. My whole life through teenage years, I was raised really strict Baptist. And so I spent the rest of the 90s catching up on music I should have listened to in the 80s. And so I'm kind of stuck right there. Oh, y'all are welcome. Welcome. All right, let's keep going here. I'm going to pick another question off of the, since everybody went to YouTube and did nice things and asked questions, I'm going to get to another one here. Peter B. Peter Balamis. Have you ever cut yourself and bled during a live feed? I think I think in one of my live feeds I stabbed myself, but didn't bleed. It was just like a little nick. So it wasn't a bleeder. So far I've been kind of lucky about that. So, yeah. But Most of your finger cuts are... Yeah, I've cut myself on camera, but not live. Let's see, Alvin and Louise and I were your roommates. <laughs> <laughs> that was who it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. You're right there in that, that tweener area, so. Did Doc do something to Chad? It's not like him to miss the life. He's... Oh, I think Chad might be in church. I might have started this during church for him. Your dad was a Baptist preacher. Well, then you kind of understand what I'm talking about. Just It was just a different thing. Who did the song Great White Buffalo? I have no idea. Oh, wait. No, I do. Who sang Great White Buffalo? Uh, I don't remember. I'm not going to cheat. Amy Grant. Yeah. You know what? And to be honest, Amy Grant was too worldly for my church. Isn't that weird? We weren't allowed to listen to Amy Grant or Michael W. Smith. The, the, <laughs> the people we could listen to were like Sandy Patty. If you were really, really not religious... And stuff like that. Can we see a cut tonight? <laughs> Don't cut on command. <laughs> no. Ted Nugent. Yeah, Ted Nugent's an awesome guitar player. I was a military policeman in in the army. The Nuge. You have a cool preacher, Myth Guard. He helped you build a spirit. That's awesome. Chad is preparing the bunker. 
I don't know. Last Wednesday, he had to help in an arrest, so no telling what he's doing out there in the parking lot. Ever seen bone? I've never cut myself to the bone. Mm -hmm. Now, my dad did. He took... I have that titanium AD-10, and he saw me doing that with it. Do it from the side. And he did it. See. Oh. Okay, so he saw me shutting it like that, straight down. And he wasn't paying attention, so he did the same thing, except he did it from here. And that thing sliced him straight to the bone, just bled everywhere. Felt terrible. <clears throat> Ted Nugent did Great White Buffalo. Thank you. All right. See, I'm terrible at this. I don't know a whole lot about Ted. My grandpa said TV antenna was devil horns. Yeah, we had a lot of that. A lot of that weird stuff that we kind of grew up with. Roy Buchanan, great player. Rick Hawkins. Yeah, you, that sounds funny, but that's true. I mean, happy trigger time. There was a lot of crazy stuff that I grew up with, and since... Jet Fuel's dad was a preacher. He might understand some of it. So. All right, let's keep. I'm going to answer another question off of the video here. Oh, there's a day. <laughs> All right. What are you giggling about? Oh, nothing. All right, let's see here. Let me go over here. All right, Wandering Bear, do you love me now that I can dance? I'm not sure, but I will watch you now. So, knock yourself out. <laughs> Remember the song? I do, do you love like, me? I did like that do song. Do you love me? Oh. Watch me now. All right, here we go, another question. I think question. that was on Dirty Dancing. Let's hope not. I don't want everyone to remember that. That's something. Ethan E., what was my first knife? I already answered that one, but it was the Buck 112 my dad gave me. Cut through my second knuckle once. Ugh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just got a shiver right into my bald head. Cut myself to the bone a few months back, striking fire still with my grip. Oh, you wrapped in duct tape. That's manly. That should have been a YouTube video. You super glue. Yeah, but duct tape just says man. Just dirty duct tape on your open to the bone cut. Mm. That's something Rambo did. Like in the first Rambo when all those National Guard guys were after him. Didn't he wrap something in duct tape? I don't remember. Yeah, manly. What was my third knife? All right, I had the Buck 112. Then I got a Rambo knife. What was my third knife? That would have had to have been... Man, I don't remember. I don't remember. It <laughs> does... Wandering Bear's doing an awkward white boy dance for us. <laughs> Chevy or Ford? Chevy. The Camaro is my favorite muscle car. My pointer finger was hanging off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh geez. I would have liked to have seen that. 17th knife. That Now you lost me there. I think I know one and two, maybe five. I don't know what the other ones are. The pink one I got you. Yeah, maybe it's the pink one. Oh, man. Because you can't count those Ginsu knives we got when we were first married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me beat. Leonard Skinner before crash. Leonard Skinner's awesome, yeah. Do I let my kids have knives? Yeah. My son, my oldest son has a drawer full. He just kind of collects them, and I think my, my youngest has a couple I've given them. They're not super into knives and stuff, but they have a couple of them. I'll see a Glock super glued his shut. No, Chevy. Oh, I messed up. I meant Ford. That's what I meant. No. Oh. No, I just always liked the Camaro. My dad had a Camaro when he was younger. Yeah, Rambo survival knife. Kind of the one with the compass and the matches and the waterproof little tube. Super glue was originally intended for battlefield use. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Hey, just stare when you're bleeding to establish your dominance. <laughs> <laughs> just stare at it. <laughs> I heard Tammy say she wanted to see that. Hey, that's a nurse for you. Oh, yeah. She's weird like that. 
All right, seven nine year olds both have knives. So is the tape. The 69 Mach 1. I don't know which year it is, but yeah, the Mach 1. That was a good looking car. But that whole 67, 68, 69 Camaro, that's one of my favorites of all time. You know what I really want is one of those, what, 88 Grand Nationals. I think I would sell every knife I have and some other stuff and for one of those. Those are awesome. What was the first premium knife you purchased? The first premium knife I purchased was purchased for me by my wife. That would be the... Let me see if I can get to it. This is probably... Yeah, this is it. The first premium knife. This is my pink mini grip. Still one of my favorite knives. I don't use it a lot just because of its emotional attachment to me. But I love that knife. And that's what... They didn't have the pink in any <clears throat> other size. Jeff Shield's wife is a nurse, and he, they have those glue sticks all over the place. Yeah, they're good. They yeah. didn't come from the hospital, though, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How did you and Tammy meet? We met in church when we were 13 years old. And then we kind of went our separate ways, and then we found each other again. Thomas has 72 Mach 1. <laughs> nice. Oh, Happy Trigger Time has an 85 Grand National. Oh. Yeah, the GNXs are nuts. I should have bought one about 15 years ago. What knife was my first giveaway? Don't remember that. I'm pretty sure it was Ganzo, but I'm, I don't, can't say for sure. But back then, I was giving away a lot of Ganzos. All right. Let's see, I'm 84 Scotts, got to go, had a leak in the gas tank. Let's see, woman cut me the bone with sarcastic remarks. That's more painful than anything sometimes, just getting made fun of. But, yeah, she was kind of mean back then. Oh, she's definitely a keeper, though. What? You're mean back in the day when you were going to church. <clears throat> no? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to answer another question off of the video here. Oh, Marshall's a nurse. You knew that, though, right? No. I thought I told you. Yeah, Marshall's a nurse. I think he's... You're an OR nurse, I believe. I think he's an OR nurse. Cool. And then you're supposed to say, oh, are you? Oh, are you? No, I couldn't <laughs> handle the mass. The mass drive me crazy. But the patients being very quiet is nice. All right. Sue Nelson asks a good question. Sue Nelson asks, what inspired the start of Pifmas? Doc. Doc Holliday's the one that started Pifmas on inadvertently. He started Pif. Me and him did a trade two well, almost two years ago now. And he he sent in his box he sent the knife that we traded for. And then he sent a bunch of other stuff. He sent I know it sounds funny, but I think he sent some Chick-fil-A sauce packs and he sent oh just a bunch of different things and i'd had yeah. a bad day and i opened this on this is the first time this had ever happened where somebody sent something extra and it just made me feel really good it was like it was weird it's like somebody had been thinking that it's gonna have a bad day and i opened this and it was just all this stuff and i thought man you know what what if somebody else could feel like this if on you know they just out of nowhere got something that would make them feel good and just opened up this little doodads and maybe a knife and that's where it started. It all started with Doc. He he started that. <laughs> Doc is full of kindness, joy, and giving, unlike Chad. He <laughs> said that, Doc. <laughs> no, no, Thomas Landers. <laughs> all right, so yeah, good question, Sue. Thank you. I couldn't do it. Nurses have the hardest job. It's not the patient, it's family. It's always the nurse's fault when something goes wrong, not the doc. True that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a rough job. That's not something I could do for sure. Ed says he got a piff box a while back and it made his day. Awesome. Do I have a favorite Bark River knife? The one I have is that... My favorite right now is the one I have, and it's that Bravo Machete. It's awesome. Doc said there's no such thing as a Chadman. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can increase the size of this font here for you. Okay. 
see if that works. There you go. How's that? That's better. All right. General anesthesia is awesome. <laughs> All right. So true that. What's, what's the thing with Chad? Chad's awesome. There's a lot of banter back and forth, but in reality, he's awesome. All the stuff you see on here with him is just fun. He's a, he's a great person. This guy says, that's weird. My wife, Tammy's ENT, and he was a stay-at-home dad for nine years. That's very cool. It's a parallel universe. Yeah. Yeah, the Bravo. All those Bark Rivers. I've never felt a Bark River I didn't like. Chad is a great guy. Yeah, Bill, Bill and me working together. My preferred sharpening method now is my KME. Yeah, for a lawyer. But yeah, I, I like I there's that meme that's out right now where it's the pull through and then they go to the work sharp and then they go to the hand sharpening and then All right, Benjamin, thank you. Send oh okay, you send me an email. Great. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for sending in a question. Hey, big Sean Roberts is in the house. Woo woo. Hey Sean. So I went right now I'd use the KME, it's awesome. But I went through the whole system there. And I still use the other stuff. And mostly what I find now is I have to re resist the urge to sharpen it and just drop more. And when I drop, it, it really helps out. I, don't, I haven't used the knife so much that i got to keep sharpening it yet. So, Docs can go back to pull through. You know, on kitchen knives and stuff like that, I still might do that. I have a nice pull through that I'm going to use for my kitchen knives. Like the ones, the Chicago cutlery, and I'll sit there and get out the big stones for yeah they, but you know if you go to like I say if you go to but sometimes they have a sale I know at Blade Show they were super inexpensive yeah yeah I don't know <laughs> yeah you got you had to have some skinny jeans for that meme for sure I don't know where that came from Oops. maybe it's just because it's what's popular now did you kick something I kicked the camera oh that's okay <laughs> That's okay, when mom's in here, she's always kicking that thing. All right, I'm gonna ask another question, pick another question over here, let's see. All right. Oh, this one was already answered. It's Fix the 814 asked me, has anyone ever compared my voice to John Goodman other than myself, other than himself? Yeah, I've had several people the last couple of years tell me I sound like John Goodman on camera. So, and then ask me to say, shut the up, Donnie, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Keep going. Oh, we got another question. Let's see. No, no, no. Stropping really works. Can go a long time without. Yeah, that's right. And it takes some discipline to realize that, not to just break out the stones or came here or whatever. Your channel brings me joy. I don't like any of them. Oh, wow, Robert. That's really awesome. Thank you. That's a really cool thing to say. You see what you said? Yes, I did. That's yes, very nice of you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Can we see you and the missus hold hands on camera? Sure. Ooh. All right. Bruce McConnell wants to know, how old are you? When is your wife going to be part of the show? When is your mom going to be back on the show? Okay, my mom was sick and then she went out of town so i'm thinking later on this week maybe thursday i'm gonna tie her up and bring her in here <laughs> yeah. jeff you said you're roseanne since i'm john goodman <laughs> all right and of course my wife is here now so i'm gonna bring her back every once in a while whenever she, she's up for it and how old am i i am should i tell them sure i'm 46. I'm 46 with a 22-year-old brain, as far as maturity goes. So, no, but I'm 46 years old with 80-year-old joints. So there you go, Bruce. That's a good question. Tie your mother down. Tie. John Scarborough. God, God bless Quotes and Queen. What's your favorite part of the new cult? The, I think the 80-15 or maybe the 80-10. Holy heck, did you see the prices on those? Oh my gosh, I'm sitting all, getting all emotional thinking about getting an S35 AD10 for 140 bucks. I already got them reserved over at Knife Center. So as soon as they come out, they're coming my way. But yeah, those two, 
My hands are all sweaty. Just I'm serious thinking about it. Those two are going to be awesome. All right. Are we getting late here? Is that how long we've been going here? I don't know. Going a long time. All right, I'll keep going here. Yeah, Bill, the guy with the EMT wife, is 46 as well. In May. That may or may not be when my birthday is. <laughs> 31 with an old man's body in the mind of a child. Yeah, that's kind of me, just a little bit older than you, quite a bit older than you. I'm just a youngster, Rick says. Any knife sales coming up? Oh, well, I had that one Friday night. Next, those, some of those are still on sale. I'm going to have a mystery box probably go up tonight or tomorrow. I started the night at Slicey Dicey's, but in my night at Jimmy Slash Drink Day is great. It's awesome. Well, you got good, John, you're very well balanced there. 21 body, 20 year old brain. That's not too bad. What do you like the most to do the thumbs up at the close of the live stream? Not sure. <laughs> oh, hey, Sean, we just pulled your question up. Let's see. Do you have a knife that you consider a jack of all trades? Like something can be used in EDC tasks, camping, and even self defense. If not, do you know one that exists? Okay, if we're not going to talk about <clears throat> this one, then I'm going to pull out what I think would be a knife for all those things. This, this monster here. If you got 70 bucks or how much these things cost, you're not going to beat this. This thing's indestructible. You could take this out camping. If you poke this into somebody, they're not going to be happy about being poked with it. So the Cold Steel Spartan is just about, for an inexpensive type knife, as perfect as you can get for everything you mentioned for camping, self-defense, EDC stuff. It's awesome. And, oh, was that too big? Are you looking for something smaller? All right, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller and lighter than the Recon, same thing. That lock's going to hold up for you. I'm like your Vanna. I'm just taking you are. You are. Away. I'll take a vowel. I like to buy a vowel. So the Recon is right there, up there. Dot, pushing the 110, that's a good one too. <laughs> it is huge, that's true, but... I've EDC'd it before, and I like it. It does everything all the way. Yeah, Recon's a good one. Kind of one at Spot XL. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a freak of a knife. That thing's awesome. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you're talking about tactical, and you're talking about use and everything. It's got that blade shape that's really good for chopping. Yeah, and it'll keep your jeans, you know, from running away from you. So it's hard to beat the Spartan. Well, it's, I love Topps knives. Big red EDC, I love Topps knives. I just keep buying them. They're so awesome. Yeah, and if you want to go smaller version of this, what John said, the American Lawman. So those three, if for under, what, 85, 100 bucks, you can't beat. Now there's prettier knives, there's knives with better action, there's knives with better steel than the S35VN, and the Austin A is awesome. We, I couldn't kill it. So if you're looking for something pretty and flippy and yeah, but as far as useful, you gotta keep going back to cold steel. It's and just hard to beat. You feel safer just looking at the Spartan. <laughs> All right, we keep going here. Hey George, welcome. We're just answering random questions here from the video the other day. Let's see if we got one. What we got here? Marla asked. Oh, Marlon's saying this. She said, nice video. I read the comments and they already got my thoughts covered. Well, let's keep going to cover another of her thoughts here. They don't anymore, Big Red. They, we got to petition them to come back. Yeah, the mini lawman, if you're going so, is awesome. Do I have my mini lawman here? Oh, I thought I brought it. Oh, here it is. Oh, this knife. You want to talk about the greatest durable pocket chunker of all time? That thing is awesome. Put a triad lock, an XHP steel on a knife. Scott F wants to know, what is the future? I'll let you want to read it. Um, huh. Okay. What is the future of the style of knives? Material, style, and design. Good stuff. What's, I guess, the latest <clears throat> coming out? You know, it seems like they're going, they're still going in that titanium bearing flipper way. They're kind of the 
how how crazy and futuristic can we make our look our knife look? And they're kind of getting away from the utilitarian stuff and going towards. I don't know. I don't even know if I have something that would oh, like be those going that way. Hinders we looked at at the. No, that show. hinder is actually useful. The hinder is not too bad. I'm talking about something that's just weird to be weird kind of thing. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, like the Eshams and stuff. Not that they're not awesome knives, but it just seems like, well, Esham did this. What what, what can we do? Or So they're going to put a, a, a weird swirl here and some lines here. So I think that's where it's going. <laughs> Doc says, I ran out of deodorant, so I wore some of my wife's because I didn't have time to go by the store before work. I can barely handle this powder fresh smell constantly being so close to my nose. Strong enough for a man, made for a woman. There you go. <laughs> they should rename the mini llama to the mall cop. <laughs> Not going to sell many knives that way. This is the Paul Blart. Let's see here. The Tough Light. That's a great knife. Yeah, the Tough Light's an awesome knife. Yeah, for that money, you're not going to beat that knife. That's a great. That's a great little blade. Eric smells like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Our teen spirit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of tiny, tiny knives. As long as I can get two or three fingers and a lanyard, I'm good. All Teflon washer springs just double-edged skull daggers. Get on it soon. <laughs> yeah. You know, Marshall Andrew Demko was talking about Teflon washers on his last podcast. It was super interesting. He had a lot of good reasons for using them. We need giant heads from Star Trek to answer that. That's right. The ones with the veins in them that trapped Captain Pike and that really hot blonde chick. Those are the ones we need. I got to pre order one of the AD 15. Yeah. They're $149. That's insane. Yeah. Chad's here. Woohoo. He made it. What up? Nobody talked about you bad at all, Chad. I promise. No, they said he was at church. That's right. We told everybody you were at church and said good things. I said, dang it. <laughs> What's the steel on the cold steel tough? I, what is that? Are they still using OS 8 on that one? I'm not sure. I like Best Tech's tiny knives, Sean. That little bitty one that Birdshot shows off a lot. I like that one. I saw it at Blade Show. I need to get one. Doc Have I seen watching. the Ganzo 7802 prototype? Doc is watching. That's right. I, I don't think I've seen that, Rick. I don't know. So we got the OS 8 confirmation on the tough light. What's a confirmation? Let's see. What's an engine? The engine. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, I'm going to grab another question here. Good question, Scott F. That was a good one. All now right. it's a party. Now it's a party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one time outdoors DJ asked. Let's see. This question has probably been asked quite a few times. What changed your life for the better? I guess what I'm trying to say is do the pith box with knives, did something happen? How, why did it start? Okay, we remember why pith boxes started happening. That was because Doc changed my life for the better. Is my wife. My wife changed everything for me. It was weird, but she saved me. My next question is what knife did absolutely warrant so bad? And then if finally... Did you want so Did I want so bad? You finally got it wasn't what you thought it'd be. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's a good question. What knife was I super disappointed in? You know, I, I don't mean to say anything, but that recent Isham Blackstar I was really excited about. And then just kinda I just kind of meh about it after I got it. What am I looking at here? Alright, Aussie. The knife is good, even with the I have several of those tough lights, and it's just great. These cookies and milk are crunk. <laughs> All steel's good. Don't abuse your tool, Mom said. Yeah, Mom's right. All steels are good. They're going to work for the most part. If you're not using it as a hammer or a chisel, it should hold up for you. All state's going to hold up for most people. You might have to just drop it a little bit. You should make a resistant dress and flesh the devil's cabbage. You'll be new admin. <laughs> Jack... What's the devil's cabbage? Jack, I'm sorry. I had to start early because the wife has to go to bed. She has to go to, to work in the morning. So I wanted to get her in here. Oh, it's getting late. What time are you going to get going? It's 8 o'clock. 
Can you stick around like, for 10 more minutes? All right, we got 10 more minutes of my wife. Oh, the mini Ethereum. Mm. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed in the mini Ethereum. After being so excited about the mega Ethereum, that one was pretty upsetting. I didn't, yeah, that was, that was not good. All right, let's see. Recon, it's all eight, and I always wanted Lawman. There was a rec it was a Canadian satin recon that had been used, but it was on Reddit today for 55 bucks. I should have grabbed it. Randy says it's been a great live stream. Tammy needs to come back more often. All right, Randy, thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good night. When she goes back to bed, we can talk about Bear Grylls. <laughs> <laughs> we have all seen the video, Jar Jar. Good night, Randy. All right, take care, Robert. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate your kind words. Yeah, CRKT, Rich. They're coming out with some new stuff. Some new steals. They're finally listening to people, I think. Not that it mattered a whole bunch, but at least they're listening. All right, David, the rabbit foot vent or something or other. All right. I'll hold it until Tammy goes night night. <laughs> All right, thank Mad Mutual. Have a good day at work. I appreciate you showing up for, for for the live stream. Thank you very much. All right, let me pick another question here. Forty nine Giant says, Do you prefer stainless or carbon steel? If it's a good stainless, I prefer the stainless, just so I don't have to worry about it. Got to go deal with my grandson. All right, Rick, thank you very much. So, yeah, the carbon steel is awesome, and especially if you have time to sit there and oil it or keep care of it. And I have a bunch of carbon steel knives. But if I had to choose, I would go stainless, some something with some kind of a higher carbon stainless, you know, like the M390 stuff or even the XHP, just the stainless steel that you don't have to be concerned about. Yeah, I think this Chug Dude, I think the one I was looking at was a Tanto. It was over there. I used one, but still, it looked pretty good. What did Doc say? David is on a dang roll. It's black magic, and I don't like it. What happened? What did David, did David win something? Something down at a crossroads of the Delta at midnight. <laughs> David sold his soul. All right, MJ, thank you very much. I appreciate it. He said thank you to you. Oh. Right here. Yeah. Have a good night. All right. Oh, the Demko. Yeah. Yeah, I may, have, may not have cussed David. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Blade Banter, what's up? Welcome. All right. All right, I'm going to let you go. No sense you sitting around. We're just going to ask a couple more questions and we'll be gone. You need to go get ready. You want to say good night? Yes. Good night. Thanks. Thanks for showing up. Do you want your knife? Can I use it to open boxes? No. Okay. There you go. I think you've shown your true spirit to the whole audience. Not a sharer. All right. Everybody says good night, Tammy. Good night, Tammy. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Slash. Lots of good nights. <clears throat> All right. Everybody saying good night still. Good night to the Sweetie and Bunny show. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> That's your fault. <clears throat> now we can talk about pee. <laughs> Chad. Because Bear Grylls, he does that thing where he squeezes out the elephant dung and then he drinks his own urine. It's, he's pretty weird and gross. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's why we had to wait for you to leave. <laughs> that can't be sanitary. Well, if you're dying of thirst, I don't know how that works. I'm never going to be in a position where i got to squeeze out whale dung for moisture. It seems like there would be something else. I don't know. <laughs> if y'all can see the face, I'm getting like, I'm the one that did it. <laughs> She did go to bed. I just had to read it out to her. All right. Good night. All right. She's gone. 
I'm going to pick another question here. Do a couple more of these and I'll let you guys go. What knife would I like to be cut with? Ken Kelly. I don't want to be cut with any knife. Yeah, I got to look, JC. It was just like, it wasn't like anger. It was like, what? Just like a mix of disgust and just curiosity. It was weird. No, there was, she was gone already, Jack. It wasn't his, it wasn't his fault. I read it out there. All right, let's pick one more winner here. One more guy. All right, Big Red, thank you. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. All right, Prep For It asked me, if you could only have one type of blade still for the rest of your life, what would your blades be made of? Thank you. I don't, you know, if I had to choose one, I would probably choose the highest steel that is out there. What, I don't know, M390? I would go with, or one of the the 90 SVs or something like that. Yeah, Eddie's right. If you're going to get cut, get cut with something sharp for sure. All right, we'll do one more question, and then I will let you go. I don't think I got anything in to show you guys, so. Oh, I had a question. I got this clone in, and I forget who sent it in. And I know y'all have answered this already. What knife is this a clone of? I don't know what clone that is. Y'all know? Let me put that right there. What is that a clone of? All right, there we go, Jeff. Feel good call. Yeah. Whatever the Buck 110 is made of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the doc is working on Wandering Bear. I have no idea, Mike, when that's coming out. I, I don't know. Last time this happened for me was in 2017, and all those cool knives, the Frenzy, and that whole line of them came out. And I put the money down in early February, and then the knives didn't come out, I want to say, until April. So we're maybe looking at three months. <clears throat> that's the Mamba. Okay. No, it's not the 10 Pacer. I've had the 10 Pacer, the Spyderco Rhino. Okay, it's the Rhino. Okay, cool. Yeah, I need to get me one of those. That thing's a beast. All right, one last question. I'm having too much fun here. Let me ask another question here. What's my obsession with lanyards? AJ asks this. Okay. The... I wear a lot of loose pocket stuff and so one of the reasons is I don't clip if you watch my videos I don't talk about the clip a lot I have to remember to talk about the clip for a lot of people and it's just because I just basically I just throw knives in my pocket and the lanyard helps me get to them and find them and the not masculine answer I guess is I like to decorate them I like looking at colors and and tying knots and whatnot and beads and stuff skulls and crazy stuff I like all that stuff so those are the two reasons and I have kind of become obsessed with them. When I first started getting into this knife stuff, I didn't really like lanyards, and then I just it just kind of fell into them. The Brian tie stick. No, it's not the tie stick, but I can see where you'd think that. I think the... <laughs> Ouch! Oh, don't Spidey flick that thing. That is some sharp edges on this clone. Holy freak, that thing jammed up my fingernail. You dirty no good. Oh... Mmm. All right. That hurt. <laughs> I think it's the tie stick comes up here, and the hole is way up here above the blade. Loved him, Roddy's. Oh, you missed a lot of questions. A lot of good questions. Yeah, that's the whole reason. I, AJ, I just like colors, and I they find them easier to grab onto. So it's nothing super complicated. I do have tender hands, <laughs> my chubby tender fingers. Oh, there was no blood. There was no blood. Just this edge right here is super. Can you hear that? I just jam my finger into that, and I have girl fingers. No, I didn't get cut. I just got blunted. Oh man! All right, 
I think, let me see, how long? Good, hour 10. You want to answer one more question? Let's answer one more. Let's end on something awesome here. All right, we'll pick one more and then I'll ask, see if y'all want to answer a question. Oh, Marshall's question came up again. All right. Let's keep going here. Peach Jackson says, ooh, my thumb is dirty. It was dirty, but it's clean now. I made sure. I sucked up all the Cheeto dust. All right. I clicked four different ones here and none of them were questions. All right. All right. I'm shutting that one down. It's God telling me there's nothing left. Okay. Y'all got anything you want to ask me over here? If not, we'll shut us down. Let me hold up for some questions. Turn down my zoom a little bit so I can see more of the screen. Did I not bring in my glasses? Oh, no. I don't have glasses, so I'm going to zoom it all the way out. All right. Let's see here. All right. Dun, 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 dun. That's why you can't have nice stuff. Hey, AJ, thank you for showing up. Appreciate it. Did you see the Devin Lerner versus... Oh, my gosh. He got destroyed. I thought it would at least be close. I mean, Dennis is a freak but it wasn't even close it's like me arm wrestling my wife and i love devin larry i think he's awesome but yeah dennis Sip siplikoff or siplikoff just wasted him did i answer your questions i didn't see your questions you can ask him here chad let me see if i can scroll through and find them i'll scroll through and see if i can find any questions dun 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 Hey, thank you for showing up, Happy Trigger. I appreciate it. How many grips do I have? I have one. If you're counting mini grips, I have five. If you're counting just grip grips, I have two. Should I get a Tawar or a Recon 1? Ooh, that's a good question. I would go Tawar. Just because it's a little bit more unusual than the recon. I don't know if you're going to get any more use out of either one of them as far as one being better. But I just like the towel arc just because of the way it looks. And it feels a little bit better in hand. <clears throat> Thanks, Robert. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Rich, I've been on those. You know, I've been missing letters lately. I don't know if it's my computer or my brain. I'm going to blame it on my keyboard running out of batteries. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go get tested. When you close your eyes, do you dream about me? Ooh, that's not creepy. No, you know what? I took a nap today and I had some weird dreams. I dreamt my, I was in a car with my dad and we were going down this bridge in the dark. And then he figured that cruise control meant autopilot and just laid back in his seat. And I had to wake myself up because I realized this wasn't going to end well. So that's what I was dreaming about today. Yeah, blame the keyboards. That's right. I asked why I'd make a great admin and why I can't answer. <laughs> You'd make a great admin because of all your excellent people skills. <clears throat> you hate cruise control. I, like, I don't mind cruise control. It's not in that situation. My dad had it totally wrong. Xanax and the devil's lettuce. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Do you like knives? With, I do like knives with serrations. This is one of my useful knives right here. Most used and useful knives is that knife right there. So, yeah. And I bought two mini grips because they had serrations. So I, I like them. Especially on a higher end steel where you're not going to worry about sharpening them a lot. But I can sharpen serrations pretty decently too, so. The second question, I can't answer that. I, <laughs> I, 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 the fifth, I plead the fifth. It might incriminate me, incriminate him. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't think Doc is human garbage. Why you put me on the spot? Let's see what Jet Fuel asked. Did I miss something? All right, T -t 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 Jet Fuel, go ahead. All right.
right. I missed that. You meant to make a post somewhere. Chad's unsubscribing again. Dang, damn it. All right. I'm trying to catch up here. Hold on a second. Leave New Jersey. Legalize Devil's Lettuce. Yeah, let's legalize that for sure. I'm all for that. Do you ever get review burnout? All the time, Rick. Sometimes I'll sit down, I get all my cameras, lights set up, and I'll put the knife out and I'll go, Pfft. no, not today, not that knife. And so, it, I, I don't, I like to review knives that I'm excited about, whether it's a negative excitement as far as I got to tell somebody how much I don't like it, or a super positive excitement about, man, I like this knife. And just kind of a meh knife, it's just like, ugh. It's like getting excited about a McDonald's cheeseburger. If you're super, super starving, yeah, you'll do it. But that's what kind of a meh knife is to review. And I don't, I don't like to sit there and fake it. Like, oh my gosh, this knife, it will change your life. And holy heck, can you see? And eh. so, yeah, I do get review burnout, out. But just in that sense, not in the point where I picked frogs as a kid to buy knives. Oh, I never did that. I used to catch frogs all the time, but I never sold them. That's the twenty nine ninety nine live stream. Oh, are we down? Did I lose all the extra subs? Can I make a Jimmy slash? You know, Jack. I hope nobody's listening. That that get me in trouble. But um, the Jimmy slash blooper reel would have to have a lot of bleeping in it. So. I don't like to put the curse words out there, and I don't like folks to realize that I've been using them. So, I try to keep that under wraps. Every video is a Jimmy Slash Blooper video. <laughs> hey, bud, do you need something? What you got? You want to whisper? All right, then a little child thing to work with here. The last year's typically blooper, yeah. All right, this last team <laughs> keeps people away. Yeah, one big bleep. Burger King and McDonald's. You know what? It, I would say Burger King in most instances, but lately I've been eating, trying to eat no carbs and stuff, and I get that double quarter pounder with that new meat they're using, and it's all juicy and yummy in the little plastic box with the pickles and that's a, I might go get one after this in fact that thing is delicious jack in the box is good stuff too in a non keto non carb thing or super carb thing I would go with Burger King I like their burgers horse meat I'll eat some horse meat that's horse meat I'll eat it oh somebody asked me to tell the horse shooting story do y'all have time for the horse shooting story it's not long anybody Respect to pops, raw horse meat. All right. No, no, Jack. There's an S in there. <laughs> okay. When I was a kid, I was 15 years old. Me and my my brother and my two friends, my two best friends growing up, had shotguns, and we we're out in Palestine, Texas, on their land. And we're just walking down the road like idiots, like 15-year-old idiots, just looking for something to possibly shoot at. Well, we opened up Armageddon on a poor little armadillo. Now, I'm not proud of this. I'm just telling the story. So we opened up Armageddon on a... You, you thought there was a, a war going on. Then boom, 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 boom. So I think the armadillo may have gotten away. I don't remember. We weren't very good... And then we just kept walking and walking. And then out in this fence, we got to this fence. Now we saw these eyes out in, the, out in this field, way out in the dark. And we couldn't figure out what it was. And I was thinking, what in the world is that? And so, because I was stupid, I, uh, I shot out into the dark and shot my buddy's uncle's horse. I never got in trouble for it. I don't think he turned me in, but yeah. I shot my, my friend's uncle's horse. 
No, <laughs> wrong placement on the S. Yeah, Eddie Waterburger for sure. Yeah, got to make sure they're not listening. That would be messed up. It was a long time ago. I'm thinking the statute of limitations is up. Look up the Jerry Clower cow shooting story. Okay, I'll check that one out. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm not saying I'm proud of it. It was a long time. It was in the mid-80s. 31 years ago. I love Bark River Knives. Everyone I ever had, I wanted to keep. I've had a couple in hand. I've had, I bought one. I have the Bark River Bravo Machete. <clears throat> yeah, it killed the horse. The horse died. I killed the horse. I, don't, I didn't find out for a long, long time. I knew it was a horse right away, but we took off, and I, I didn't find out that it didn't make it. Yeah, Pete is coming for me. Did we make glue out of it? No, I like I said, I didn't. I don't think I found out maybe for a year or so. No, I appreciate it. Statutes can't run. <laughs> so that's the horse shooting story. People eating taste animals. Yeah, it was now now not not that it makes it great or anything, but it was a super old horse. The horse was really really old it was honest i may have i I, I did kill him but it wasn't like he was black beauty or anything not justifying it seriously i know i screwed up big bad thing and now i've told all you people my horse shooting story yeah i've <laughs> Yeah, there's. I have a couple dog shooting stories too. They're not good. It's they're pretty rough. No, it did not. It was not Lambo jet fuel. It wasn't like that. Lastly, vegan old Indian word for bad hunter. Shouldn't talk about his wife that way. I don't know. Who, I don't know what that's referring to. The superior. He, he did. I'm like that guy in South Park. Uh oh, they're coming for me. <laughs> or whatever he said, I forgot what it was. They're coming at us. I hate putting a dog down. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. Lots of Uber driver stabbing stories. <laughs> it's the meth. It's the meth making you crazy, man. All right, I'm going to shut this down. I don't want to be keeping you all for a long, long time here. They're coming right for us. That's what it is. <laughs> They're coming right for us. <laughs> oh. Translations in, if you... But, hey, I'm still... There's going to be... A big 3,000 sub giveaway. I just got to find out what I'm going to give away. So this is just kind of like the beginning of it. But everybody that got chosen, those top five, I'm going to send you out. Send me your... I'm going to read the names real quick just to make sure. Mad Dog 45 send me your address. Silver Tip Up, send me your address. I have your address, Marshall. Benjamin Poirier already sent me his and Lois White Cross. If you all send me your addresses... I'll get your angry commie monkey knife out to you. All right. And just look for another video. Also look for the Walmart video tomorrow to see if y'all won that giveaway. Brush your teeth and nice. You don't have to in the morning. Okay. Good night, John. Good night, everybody. Thank y'all for showing up. Thank y'all for being nice to my wife. She's awesome. And she really... She's just awesome. I just can't go on without her. She's the best. And I really appreciate y'all. So, y'all take it easy. Have a really good evening. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. And, I, hey, Bill, I didn't realize you are here. Thank you. And I appreciate y'all showing up. This was a lot of fun. I appreciate y'all getting me a 3,000. And you really are awesome. And I will let y'all go. And have a good night. <laughs>